Hey, welcome back to another video here on Free Will Photos. Today, what we're going to do is take a look at using the line mass tool coupled with the local adjustment module. So let's just go ahead and jump right into On One. So here we are inside of On One Photo Raw, and this is going to be the final effect. We may not make the exact same one, but this should be the final effect that we're going to go for. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off the adjustment so you can see how dark it is and how there's absolutely nothing and then how we modified the light. And as you can see, this is all happening with a little bit of masking and then, of course, some adjustments down here. So let's go ahead and jump back to the original photo. And this is what the photo originally looked like. Now, what I'm going to do is pull back on the exposure quite a bit because we're going to create the light using the local adjustment. Now, coming over here to my local adjustment, I'm just going to go ahead and jump this over to some brighter exposure. Now, I'm going to use a keyboard shortcut, which is Shift and P. That brings me to the line masking tool. Now, we're going to make this ray of light kind of like something he's looking into. So I'm just going to start right about here, come right down, and we'll, we'll say there is good for this version. And then we'll come out to the side. And all I'm doing is clicking and dragging. And I want this light to be fairly wide. So I think that will do. All right. And then all I'm going to do is click inside because I want to paint in. And you'll see that it gets brighter. So just like that, we've created light in one area of the photo. Now, just imagine what you could do with your photos. Now, what you see me doing here is modifying the mask after the fact. And this is one of the benefits to using the line mask tool. Now, this is only available in On One Photo Raw 2022. So if you don't have that version, then you won't be able to do this. However, if you do, then this is actually a really, really cool tool uh, to use creating a little bit of light and movement in your images. Now, what I can do is continue painting. So if I wanted to paint a little bit more light in back here, I can just create yet again another mask, something like that. And this time, maybe I want to connect the two. So bring it up like that. Pull this out maybe just a little bit. Uh oh, I want to keep working on this mask. Now, what I will mention is this can get a little clunky to maneuver sometimes. However, if you are careful, you can really get some some cool results. So we'll come here and all I'm trying to do is make something interesting. It doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to feather this quite a bit. Um, so we'll say that that's good. And then maybe I wanted to brighten up this area back over here, but I don't want to put as much brightness like uh, how this is impacting the image. Maybe I want to brighten it a little less. So I can just click here and we'll come across and I'll just stop it right there. And we'll say that we want a box, right? I'll click inside of here and I will pull down on the opacity. And this can be done even after the fact. Again, trying to reselect these is sometimes annoying. Uh, you, you can do this even after the fact. So if I wanted to just bring down the opacity a little bit there, now I have these three different adjustments uh, available to me, right? And if I say, you know what? I really want this to be feathered a little bit more. I can just come back, pull that all the way up. So now where the beauty of this whole process kind of comes in is now I have complete control over modifying just those areas. So if I want to warm up just those areas, I can warm it. 
If I want to desaturate it maybe a little bit, I can do that. And then maybe I want to throw in a little bit of contrast. Now, what I don't like are these rough edges around the mask up here. I can take my brush tool and I can go ahead with a low opacity and a low flow. Just brush around the edges. Look at that. I'm taking that edge away and making it look a lot more natural. Now, if you wanted to go for the more edgy look, you absolutely can. It's your image. You do what you want to do with it. Um, but if you want to modify the midtones, or if you want to just change the color temperature overall, right? And then, of course, you still have your layer mask where you can just feather this really, really uh, crazy. And now you have a more interesting look across your image as a whole. Maybe I won't put as much vibrance, right? So this is with no light. And then this is with the light. You can really model images based off of how you add in different uh, exposure values. And you can do that pretty easily with the line mask tool. So if you found value in this video, smash the like button. If you got questions, leave them in the comment section below. I want to know, are you using the line mask tool inside of All One Photo Raw 2022? And if you are, what are you using it for? Or what are some things that you would like to see it used on and see if maybe I can come up with something? Drop that in the comment section below. And if you want to get more content like this and you haven't already, consider hitting that subscribe button and checking the bell icon so you get notified whenever I release new content. And until the next time, I want you to stay inspired and keep creating. Peace.